everybody, my name is Shannon and I am still waiting for my Seder and today we are talking about Don't Let In The Cold by Keely Parrick. This is one of my favorite genres of book and that is survival horror, okay? Listen, first of all, the cover, stunning. Blood on snow, just amazing. Hits, so good. You start to read the back cover, it's about a girl. She, Her mother is newly married, she is getting dropped off at her new step family's like home in Tahoe where it's just gonna be her and her new stepsister who she's like never spent any time with and oh no, a snowstorm. Oh no, the power's out. Oh no, there's a stranger at the door. Listen, I live for this type of horror. So I already knew that this book was going to be very much for me and I very much enjoyed the ride because honestly, every single trope, every single thing that could go wrong in a horror scenario like this did and I was living for it. I will say though, I think that this book could have leaned more into those horror vibes. Yes, it is a YA book and I think that it leaned a little bit more into YA tropes than it did into horror tropes, but there's a way that you can walk that line. Like personally, I don't think we should have had a romance plot in this book. Like I don't think all YA books need a romance plot and in a horror, like a survival horror, I think that's okay. You could have omitted that entire section, but I did really like how dire the situation felt, like with them getting snowed in, this huge massive blizzard, the power going out, like dealing with starvation and like bears and things like that. It was very interesting. And I wish we could have stayed a little bit more grounded in that realism. Cause like I said, adding in the romance and then there was this other subplot with these guys that were after them and things like that. I feel like it wasn't needed because it had enough going on. So you could have omitted a couple of those things. Like I said, I'm a huge fan of survival horror. So if you like survival horror, I definitely think you'll like this. But if you're not a huge YA person, that does get in the way of those survival horror things. So there's definitely like a balance here. And if you don't like horror, this book is pretty scary. Like I wouldn't say like it's super scary because nothing phases me anymore. But there's a lot of things that happen in this book, like just with the almost freezing to death, bears, like I said, fire, all this kind of stuff. Like there's a ton going on here. So I would definitely say when you go into this, just be aware that there is so much going on. But the great thing about it is, is that it's very short. I think it was paced really, really well. And the ending came to a really nice resolution. So I am giving this book a B plus. I was very pleasantly surprised and I definitely think I'll be checking out more from this author. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to the like button down below and don't forget to subscribe to Top Books with me every week. That's everything I got for today and I will see you guys next time. Bye!